Manx Radio's 1 to 3, tended by Ramsey Garden Centre. Pick up your new all-season loyalty card in store today and start collecting reward points. Uh, Wendy, welcome back to the studio. It's nice to speak to you. How are you? Thank you. I'm very well. We're talking to you about an event that's happening on Sunday because Sunday is a notable day in the calendar, isn't it? It is indeed. Yes, yeah, Sunday's World Cancer Day. And you have decided to put on an event to um, sort of help those who are going through it or who know someone that's going through it, really, haven't you? Yeah, so um, I've decided that on World Cancer Day on Sunday, I'm going to run a free yoga class um, at Space Yoga Studio on Bucks Road. And really, anybody who is either going through cancer or being affected by it in some way, whether it's somebody that they know, they can come along to the class. It's for free. Um, and they can find out a bit more about what Yoga for Cancer is all about. So I take it, does this mean it's going to be slightly different from your normal yoga class? Yeah, it will be slightly different from a normal yoga class in that um, I'd like people to come along. I'll do a bit of an introduction in terms of what Yoga for Cancer is about and how it does differ from a normal yoga class. We'll do a bit of a practice so people can get a bit of a taster in terms of the movement Um, A bit of relaxation, which is always nice on a Sunday afternoon. And then there'll be time for people to stay afterwards, ask some questions and have a bit of a conversation if they wanted to find out more. And obviously you've been a yoga practitioner for some years, so you, you will know the benefits yourself. But what do you think people will get out of this? So, yeah, I've been a yoga teacher now for about 12 years. Um, and so for me, the benefits have been, they've been so many, both physically and mentally. Um, yoga for cancer, slightly different to a normal yoga class in that um, it's a slower pace. There's a bit more time for relaxation. Um, people that come to a yoga for cancer class are coming to the class and have all been on a different journey. Um, And so in terms of what people will get out of a cancer for yoga class compared to a normal yoga class, it's quite different because the experience will be really different. So slower pace class, um, the variations in terms of the movements are really different um, because you may have people in the class that have had surgery, that have things like a coloscomy bag, that might have a drain. So it's, it's quite different in that respect. Um, So it's not, you don't just turn up to the class and practice your general yoga class. It's very specialised in terms of how you would run a class like that. So you'll be able to accommodate people at all different levels and with all different sort of almost physical abilities as well that that may have had challenges. Absolutely, yeah. Um, So as I said, anyone, you know, people that have had, everyone's cancer journey is very different and it's very unique to them. Um, And so the purpose of Yoga for Cancer is to support anyone who's been on that journey irrespective of where they are in terms of their treatment plan or post-treatment or some people have even contacted me who have had cancer two years ago um, and are wanting to just find themselves start to move again um, which has actually been a really really interesting kind of journey um, and, and also an interesting experience for me as a yoga for cancer teacher. So do you have to have any previous experience of yoga? So to train as a yoga for cancer teacher, um, one of the prerequisites were that you needed to have some form of yoga qualification. And um, and so that's kind of where I I started from having had, you know, I qualified over 12 years ago now. Um, So that was one of the prerequisites. Um, And then the the specialised yoga for cancer training is something I did with the Yoga for Cancer Academy in the UK. And why did you want to do that? What sort of led you to that? Um, A couple of things, really. Um, Firstly, I've had friends over the years um, who have had their own cancer story. I've had friends who have had breast cancer. I've had someone quite close who um, had lung cancer. And last year when I was setting up my business, I had people contact me and and ask me, well, you're a yoga teacher. I want to start moving again. I want to start getting in touch with, with my body can you help me on my journey? And I was like, oh, I'd love to help you on your journey. Um, And then when I started working with them, I realized that actually there's more to working with a yoga for cancer patient than there is in terms of working with somebody that just comes to a general yoga class. Um, whether they have restrictions as a result of their surgery and they're not able to, their range of movement varies. 
um, or they are just looking for some relaxation or just a safe space where they can just come and kind of, I guess, get away from it all. Um, and so that led me down the path of I need to do a bit more here and I really want to help people. And so when I found this course, I was like, I found my calling. This is kind of the route I want to go down. So I spent last year qualifying as a yoga for cancer teacher um, and also did further studying around coaching for cancer as well, which I'm continuing with this year. And so if anyone's listening and they're thinking, actually, do you know what? I kind of fancy doing this. So first of all, how how does, does someone attend this class on Sunday? So in terms of attending the class, um, it's quite easy to register. All people have to do is go on to um, the Space Yoga Studio website, click on the events section, and there's a link there that they can register for free and they can come along. If they've got any issues registering, they can just email me directly on my email address, um, hello at healthandbalanceiom.com, or they can give me a ring um, on 407545. So lots of ways to register, um, easy to access. So, yeah. And they can presumably use their same details if they want to get in touch, if they've got any concerns in advance, if they want to raise any questions with you about their condition. Absolutely. Um, and that's one thing I would always say to people is, firstly, if you're unsure, get in touch and let's have the conversation. Um, the second thing is always check with your, your GP um, or, your clin- or your clinical team if you're still undergoing treatment, um, that you know, you're ready to start doing something like like yoga or any movement for that matter. So I think it's really important to emphasize that something like yoga for cancer um, is in support of and not instead of somebody still undergoing their treatment. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And I take it people don't need to bring mats or anything with them. They're all supplied. No, they they? can just come along, bring themselves some comfy clothes to just relax in. And yeah. That's it, really. <laughs> that sounds lovely. And I know you're also doing an event towards the end of the month, uh, which is with Amy, who does the soundology, isn't it? Which should be really interesting about sound baths and immersive sound. So yeah. can people find all the details about that on your, your pages as well? So in order to register for that event, Amy has kindly set up a link for us on her website. So if people go to the soundology website, um, they'll see the event is on there. Um, we're running three events that day on the 23rd of February. So we're doing a morning session from 10 to 11 we're then doing an afternoon session from half one till half two and then we're doing an evening session from six to seven and that is like a combination of the yoga and soundology experiences it it? is yeah it's um so i'm going to do about half an hour of yoga really nice yoga um all abilities so whether you've done yoga before or not everybody's welcome and then Amy's going to immerse us in her wonderful sound bathing. So. Which is fab. You hear more about that on Saturday, actually, because uh, Amy's also doing an event with with a local poet. We'll be finding out about that in the live lounge. Uh, and that is uh, raising money for a number of different charities here as well, isn't it? That latter event. It is, yeah. So the end of Feb event is, again, in support of Will Cancer Day, but to raise funds for uh, my chosen charity that Health and Balance are going to support this year, which is Macmillan. And Isle of Man and Amy is supporting hospice. So the two of us have kind of come together with this collaboration to raise funds for two cancer charities that are quite close to both our hearts, really. Well, it is fantastic what you're doing, Wendy. It really is. And especially this, this event on Sunday, obviously, is fast approaching. So do get check it all out online. And it is a free event for those who have cancer and presumably partners as well, maybe anyone who's, who's going through someone with cancer too. Absolutely. And yeah. even if it's, um, you know, a friend of somebody and they think actually they could benefit from coming to a class, the friend can come along to the class um, if if the person isn't ready to make, to make that step or to kind of take take that step forward so it is for anybody whether you you're going through a cancer journey or you know someone who has been affected by it manx radios one to three tended by ramsey garden center pick up your new all-season loyalty card in store today and start collecting reward points